we don't trust each other, then where do we go from there? Right? And again, that doesn't matter whether it's a business relationship, a friendship, family relationship, or being in this deep, connected, romantic partnership we're in. Trust is everything. So how do you rebuild trust if trust has ever been broken? Right. That's a great point. I mean, a lot of a lot of times when we go into relationships, it's I know I've been here, it's jaded by previous ones. Yes. Right. Um, and even then when it's let's say it's your first relationship, well, to a degree is jaded by what the perception of what relationships are. And so it's really that makes it difficult because it's never what it is. Yes. <laughs> There's an idea. But oftentimes, and that's kind of one of the things we talked about in one of our previous ones about disappointment and expectations and all that. But today we're really going to focus on these five pillars of what it takes to build a trusting relationship, right? And so when I think trust, one of the first things that comes forward is honesty, right? And that's that's a that's a key one. Yes. That's an absolute, absolute key one. And one that um you know, to to what you're kind of talking about here is is where we struggle in the beginning. Um, we meaning I, but <laughs> um, but but it was a, it's still a we because it's a relationship, right? Exactly. And so uh, when I met you, uh, you immediately were like the most honest person I've ever met in my life, and and it wasn't like you know there's a brutally honest, and then there's like a just a sincere, authentic honesty, and that was you were really the first person that I ever seen embody that type of sincere honesty. And I loved it. I wanted to emulate that, but I didn't know how. I was really stuck in this old way of like, okay, you know, white lies are okay because you know you want to project what you'd like your life to be, right? Right. And so the intention behind it was good, but I was so busy seeking to project what it is instead of actually doing it. And that was my misunderstanding. That was my big. Uh, fault in terms of honesty. And it started because I wasn't fully honest with myself. I hadn't taken the time to understand if like, okay, what I see on television and movies and what I see others uh, in their perspectives of like what I look at of good relationships. I was like, oh, you know, these are things to emulate. And so, okay, how do I become that? And so I was so busy on so busy and caught in this flow of like how I would look like I'm emulating it versus actually doing it Uh, because I didn't know how mainly because I didn't know how to be fully honest with myself first and so that was a key one I I was not only sharing kind of white lies one because I I didn't think it was a big deal not realizing the uh, massive snowball effect that it actually has But I was doing that to myself. And so it was one of the first things you shared with me is like how you you have to really, really learn how to be fully honest with yourself. And that was was a trying time for me, if you will. It was very troubling. It was shattering. Um, I didn't, I was afraid to look at myself and recognize all the things that, you know, I viewed myself as this person, but I realized that I wasn't living up to that person. And I was so afraid that others, you know, could see that, but I was even more afraid that I could see it. And so I had to break through that. And that was the hard, that was really, really difficult. Um, Eye-opening and heartbreaking. And I remember navigating with you through that, yeah. where one of your your fears as we really dove into it was that I would leave mm-hmm. because everyone left. Mm-hmm. And if you drove me away first, then you were directing it. Mm-hmm. At least then you could brace yourself. And you could be ready instead of it happening because I chose it and you were out of control. Mm -hmm. If you built up all of these little lies and you chipped away and you drove me away, 
then it was on your terms. Mm -hmm. But I, I love you. And I love you, not the persona you have created. And it took creating that trust from you in me that I honestly loved you. No matter what persona you had created, because I knew that was a mask. And once that mask came off, I would still be there with you. And I would help you get to the persona you had created if that's truly who you desired to be. But it was clear that wasn't who you were in that moment, no matter how much you pretended it was. 